All Welcome right. back to the Balance Light of Entertainment. Good morning, Niger Show. Uh, now, uh, on top of the Balance Light, we will talk earlier. I said we get the one top story, we want something now. And then we get a guest who will join us in the studio to discuss this particular one. Now, something we have for Boeing University will be in the trend. Uh, they say some students, they, they test them uh, for drugs, drug abuse, drug usage. And because of that, the convex come burn one of the boys' hostel. But, well, eventually, now, uh, the authorities for Boeing University talk, say they're not born the hostel. They're just mattress them born. Now, we have say, uh, some of the students, Boy University for a war for Ocean State. Uh, they don't stage one mass protest against the directives of the management uh, where they say they must undergo drug tests. Now, the management, however, don't insist, say the affected students, say, say they must actually face disciplinary actions. Now, some videos uh, will be they go around for social media, like the one where they see the picture where they see of fire will be there inside the hostels. Uh, it been shelling on Monday. It been a go around social media, and then when they been read the vice chancellor, it said they say the vice chancellor, be, vice chancellor been suspended about two hundred students, including those ones who refused the drug test. Now the registrar of Boy University, Dr. Kayo Diogunle, uh, in say for one interview, uh, however, in talk say the viral video say na false video. He say it was doctored. Say no be no be real thing. We will not see. Uh, Oga Diogunle also in talk say the number of students where they suspend. So in all these two hundred, though, say na just allegations. Say that number and there'll be 200 students. And he say, however, I say, um, I don't know where people got the report that the hostel was set on fire. Uh, you can come and visit our university and see if any of our hostels caught fire. People started posting all sorts of things online. You know what people do with cameras these days? Uh, of course, fire may be burning somewhere and then they just oppose it uh, with a building and one could see where one could see smoke. Ogagunle also been talking say a university uh, had enforced they don't enforce this particular drug test on certain students, some of whom uh, they said they refused to comply by this particular drug test. The register also been talking say uh, there wasn't any fire in the boys' hostel, but there were some some uh, some skirmishes according to him and their reactions are from some students who were supposed to face disciplinary actions. Uh, a mattress was set on fire, not the hostel. So some students were supposed to face disciplinary actions uh, for their misbehavior in the university, and they did not want to face it. So uh, they, went trying to they were trying to stir up arguments and crises so that the university would not be able to punish them. We did not suspend 200 students. So he said they, that's the suspended students, are not even up to 40 people. Said no suspend for uh, 200 students. He said some refused to do the drug test and some did it and they tested positive uh, to unauthorized substances. Uh, the matter since has been resolved. The school has called uh, the parents of the affected students and they have gone home with their parents. Uh, there isn't any issue beyond that. Now, the matter what they try to bring out, they say, uh, we don't hear say for several private universities, say then they do random drug tests. Mm -hmm. And there's some people who don't talk, say, for some universities, say, in fact, some, I spoke to some students and they say, uh, some, some, for some universities, they, they use this random drug test, they victimize students. Mm -hmm. Say, so they see a person with rough hair, they say, go and do drug tests. If they see a person dressed roughly, they go and do drug tests. If they see you say, you just look like a ragamuffin, go and do drug tests. Mm -hmm. Now, these things, they happen mostly in private universities, not in government universities. So, for this reason, we get a casual guest who will join us all the way from Uyo. Uh, we hope he's online. Um, our guest will join us to discuss this matter, and Dr. Mfom Inem. Uh, in Ineme, in Ineme, to, to inform Ineme, I hope I got his name correctly. He's a clinical psychologist, uh, Department of Psychology, University of Uyo, and he is also the National Publicity Secretary of the National Psychological Association. If he's on the line with us. Uh, would, they expect, would they expect to receive the call uh, from Dr. Uh, Mfom? Yeah, the reason why we want actually talk to them now because of waiting the apple for a side Boeing University, mm -hmm. where they need to test the student to see whether they don't they take some kind of uh, substance. substances. And after they test them, some of them they actually found them guilty of mm -hmm. taking these substances, and then they commote them from the school. Um, so, Doctor, if I'm going to talk to us concerning this, as he's not been lecturer for a very long time. Hello, good morning, sir. Hello, Doctor Ifom. Um, you there with us on the line? All right, we will try to actually get them on the line. We notice sometimes some kind of distortion, they're actually there. Yes, some kind. But if you they hear us, please, you can reduce the volume of your TV set so that we go fit actually communicate so freely. 
Mm. So we could try to connect get back with to you. him. All right. Now, now the question here we say, um, we know say most. I know say, I go I go for um, you know a state owned university, not be private university. Mm -hmm. And uh, in all my four years or four plus extra years due to strike action and other industrial action, um, never we have been here say they won't conduct drug tests on students, exactly. uh, whether random or collectively or planned drug tests. Never we are here say that kind of thing don't happen. But they haven't proved private universities. Now the question we say, you think say they suppose adopt this particular one now too into uh, government universities? I, I, I feel say like first of all, private university and public university are totally different, like completely mm. different. Of course. And they get their own rules. Do we have him on the line yeah. now? Uh, Dr. Ovon, good morning, sir. Uh, Dr. Ovon, good morning, sir. Hello, Dr. Ovon, can you hear us? All right, we go try. Um, we go try to still try and, and see if we actually connect with them. Private university gets their own, get their own rules and regulations. Mm. If they bring a come and public university, I don't really know how this particular matter will actually take place. I really don't know, but I know say I don't complain about some of the tests. Apart from the drug tests, we know there are some ridiculous tests where some private. Uh, sorry to use that word. Where some private university they actually demand for. Do you know that some private university, for example, within Nigeria, they actually demand for virginity tests before they can actually put, I, I remember a particular person, we actually go through virginity test before they feel actually um, put her into the school, admit her into the school. And in some cases, they will come to you if they find out that you are not even a, uh, mm -hmm. um, a secured this, person. Yeah. Okay, we get another okay, line. Think, uh, Dr. Ofong, good morning. Wait, I should, I should drop it. Drop it, just drop it. Oh. Okay, if let's say we don't get Dr. Unform on the line. Well, we will still try to see whether we, fit, uh, whether we fit connect with Dr. Unform. Now, sadly, yes, yeah, some of these tests. Now, you want, you go need. Hello, make... I, uh... Hello Dr. Unform. Yes, good morning, sir. How are you? Very well, thank good you, Dr. Unform. Good morning. Uh, not just me, uh, my colleague too, um, Princess Uwede in the studio as well. Yeah, I'm seeing you guys on the, the two presenters on the screen, but it's like you are saying something else from what I'm doing. Okay, but you feel hear us? Can you hear us? I hear you now, as you speak, I hear you now. All right, good morning, Dr. Unform. Now, Dr. Unform, uh, um, the topic where we want to follow you discuss uh, is about a drug test where they happen for several universities, now particularly private universities. Uh, we hear of the, the incidents, the fracas we happen for Bowen University uh, because some students have been there subjected to random drug testing, and they don't complain. See, they don't like, say, the institution or uh, some officials for the institution could just see a particular st student, and based on what they see, the appearance, they would decide, say, this student should go for drug test. Now, we want quickly ask you, sir, first of all, um, in all the years where you don't day for University of Uyo, uh, has there been any time when any student, they don't, they, they don't get the reason or need to accuse or to test any students of uh, taking drugs, and whether any students don't fail those particular tests, where you know of? I have been in the service of the university for 10 years now. Mm. Don't work for 10 years now for University of Rio. And uh, yeah, we have not really recorded an official record where we say students are tested for drug officially, mm. except that you know, we have some counseling services that we provide the university. Mm. And that we feel if somebody is trying to have a drug issue, Mm. We now refer to the council or university councillors who will help to counsel the person. All right, Dr. Unfor, for person who don't get better experience as regards to um, and teaching the educational sector, you feel, say, this drug test is needed, whether in a private university or in state university or in federal university, is it needed? Yes, we need a drug test, but it should not be compulsory. Mm. It, you can only do drug tests when you have uh, the person, the student have given the consent, his or her consent, to say, okay, I need to be tested. It is not proper to test, to remain, you test any student without the consent of that student. Know, you hear me? Yes, yes we hear you. you. We hear you very yeah. clearly. Now, to test without the consent of the student is illegal, is uh, unethical mm. that you ever think of testing a student without the consent of that student. Okay. We don't force people who are into, into treatment, mm. okay? Yes. So it is not right to force anybody to get into drug tests when the person has not given you his or her consent. Her consent, okay. In fact, the result will be counterproductive. You won't get the answer. You won't get the, the result. Mm. 
All right, thank you, Dr. Form. Now, also, now, um, now, should in case eventually, say, uh, federal universities or state universities come put for their rules, say, uh, you know, they will get the consent, but they will make sure, say, students, they, at certain times, tested uh, for use of drugs. If eventually they start this thing and they test them, what do you feel uh, should be the appropriate measures where the institution is supposed to take if they find, say, some students don't fail uh, drug tests? Yeah, I think you are against you when it's like your last respect. If a student gives the consent, Mm. One, it should be the person should run a center, what we call psychological center, mm. or psychological service center for counseling of students. Okay. Now you go there, give your consent to be tested for, for drugs, and then if it is positive, the university should think of rehabilitation. Mm. You think of helping the student out of that problem. Mm. All right. I actually they, like that. Yeah. I like they, that. The 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 purpose, the intention should be to try to, to, to help the students out. And that's why you need the services of psychologists, mm. not just in the classroom to teach, but also in the counseling departments, counseling units of the university, so that when the student appears or presents with such a problem, the first thing to do is to counsel the student, not to criminalize him, not to make him look like a criminal mm. for taking drugs, as a matter of fact, globally we are now shouting that people who, who, sell, who, who do drugs, cocaine, cannabis, marijuana, whatever you call it, should not be seen as criminals. They should be seen as sick people. People who need treatment, people who need help in life. And we should not incriminalize, we should not criminalize it. We should not incriminate like it. Mm -hmm. We should not make it look like these things are bad. No. Let's think of what to do to help them. That's my question. That's the question of psychology. Okay. okay. I actually like that last line where you come outside talk Dr. Inform because our case study now and I'm waiting to happen for inside Bowen um, University. Yeah, yeah. Now we yes, say yeah. some of the students where they actually do drug tests for some of them, they actually find out, say, yes, they were positive mm -hmm. to the drug test where they do, and they call their parents to come commode them from school. I just want to know your opinion concerning this. You feel saying that the right step where the school authorities take? No, to me, it's not right, though. No. It's not right. And psychologists are telling it's not right. Please, it's not right. If the if a student is found to, to be positive to any drug, the simple thing to do is to provide habilitation service. Oh. the student by his or her consent mm. to the treatment process. Mm -hmm. okay? okay? Let the student understand that he needs help, and then you provide the help as much as you like within your powers as, as the management of the school that the student is. And then help the family to be concerned, to be a part of the treatment, by informing the, the parents, not with the intention of asking the student, the parents to go and take the students away from school. Please, that was not the correct though. That was not the correct. I, 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 yeah. All right, thank you. Thank you very parents. much. Now, you talk, yeah. say, like all university for inside Nigeria, I suppose, get a psychology um, department. Mm -hmm. Now, talking yeah. about the University of Uyo, how accessible is that department? So, sorry, the question is. You talk, say, every university, I suppose, get a psychologist department. Yes. Now, for inside University of Uyo, that department, how accessible is it for students? Oh my God, it's accessible every time. I am a clinical forensic psychologist, and we are available for our students any time. And most of our students call me even 12 o'clock in the night to see help. Mm -hmm. And I attend to nice. them. Our other colleagues that attend the department, they also attend. And then the event also has a counseling unit. Mm. And the people that are there are well trained people that train on the job, that and they've had they experiences over the years. I mean, it, it, it's well done here. Okay. It's well done. And oh. then we also have free friends and call lines any time. I present that to students, even if it's 12 in the night. I like I, my life is not at all. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Dr. Mfong. We appreciate the fact that you take our time, even though it's so early in the morning, uh, mm -hmm. to join us on this particular phone call. We sincerely appreciate it. My pleasure. It's yes, been given to me. Thank All you right. very We've much. We've been now, talking to okay. uh, Dr. Mfong Ineme, in a clinical psychologist, Department of Psychology, University of Uyo, and he's also the National Publicity Secretary uh, for the National uh, Psychological Association. Yes, yeah, very nice conversation where we don't get concerned. We use case study of the one we have for inside Bowen University where some students, they call their parents, can't carry them because they do test, drug tests for them and they find them um, positive. To enjoy more of this, our Ubon get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.